she has read books that has blessed my life. Amen. Amen. Actually, I met Rosemary some years ago when somebody just gave me a videotape of her. Mm. Uh, that's how I, I came in contact with her. Somebody just gave me a tape that she was teaching. I looked at that teaching and I said, I have to see this woman. Mm -hmm. She was so passionate. Mm -hmm. She was like a lion. Wow. And I said, wow, this woman, I have to see her. Mm -hmm. And you know, God knows the desires of our hearts. Mm -hmm. eh? Few weeks later, she just called me. Somebody gave my number to her. And she said, we are having a program. Do you want to come? And I went. That's about three years ago. And I never left her. Mm -hmm. What she has, I just fall in love with her. She's mm -hmm. passionate for Jesus. She's not mm -hmm. afraid of anybody. Amen. She speaks the truth, Amen. and she's not ashamed Amen. of it. Amen. 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 And she's a prophetess. She doesn't want to be called like that, but she can see. Mm -hmm. And before I call her to the stage, I just want to give you a testimony of how her life has touched me. Amen. 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 Uh, last year in the summer, I was going to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met together, we prayed together, and she blessed me. She said, okay, we'll be with you in prayer. Mm -hmm. So now a few days later, she calls me and she says, Sandra, please don't go to Ghana. I said, what? The ticket is paid already and my bag is already packed. She said, I've been praying and I don't have a good feeling about it. Mm. So I said to Rosemary, Rosemary, I can't cancel this, this flight. She said, I am begging you. <laughs> she began to of plead yeah, amen. With me. She said, I'm begging you. Mm. I said, Sister Rosemary, what are you doing? You are breaking my heart. I'm oh. going to get her. Oh. She did everything. And then she said, if you want to go to Ghana, then prepare yourself because mm. God says, don't go. To, to cut a long story short, I couldn't not go. Amen. So I said, help me with prayer. I have to go. Mm. That very night around 11 o'clock, I was getting ready to sleep. Sister Agatha, who is also part of our Sisters in Christ, she bailed on my door. And she came and I said, hey, what are you doing? She said, Rosemary sent me to come and beg you to not go to Ghana. Mm. I said, hey, this woman mean business. <laughs> 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 but I'm sorry, I can't go. I explained to her why I could not go. She said, Sandra, it makes sense. But the way Rosemary is saying it, be careful. Now, I went to Ghana. <laughs> and uh, what she, she said actually came. I came back home really very sick. I got an attack in Ghana. Mm. Um, at, at the end of my visit, I just had a dream in the night that somebody had a pistol to my head, mm. wanted to shoot me. Mm. And I, I, I just woke up and my whole face was swollen. Jesus. My mouth was the size of my hand. Wonderful. I told you I, I couldn't. I just, I just didn't believe what I was seeing. So I called her. She didn't say, I told you so. She said, begin to pray and get yourself here in Holland. Mm. So I got myself into Holland. I went to the hospital. They did all the tests they could do, but they couldn't find anything. She mm -hmm. said, this is what I was trying to tell you about. But I will, I, I will help you. You know, for almost two weeks, I was given pregnison because the doctors could not find what was in my blood. But he said, I'm going to give you the strongest medicine and it will kill any virus in Amen. your blood. So I was given the virus. Rosemary will call me about three times a day. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I'm sleeping a lot from that medication. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, don't sleep. This is not a time to sleep. Okay. So she will wake me up whilst I'm sleeping. Amen. She said, take a towel, put it on your face, begin to pray. Don't. Amen. She will call me sometimes in the night. And through the, 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 the sickness, that two weeks, mm. she advised me 
She helped me. She taught me how to take the word of God and mm. pray it. She said, now the thing is in your body. You need strong faith, she would say. Strong faith, not that kind of queer, queer faith. <laughs> strong. <laughs> and, and together with Sister Rosemary, with the Bible, because she never speaks anything out of the word of God. Yes. With the scripture, she will give me scripture over scripture over scripture. Mm. And thank God. This thing went away. Praise the Lord. My face. You know, somebody saw me mm -hmm. and didn't know what is wrong with me. To mm -hmm. let you know how terrible it was. Mm -hmm. Told my friend Gina here, I saw Sandra. I think she has leprosy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That is how terrible it was. Oh, you, you, you looked at my face and it was terrible. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes we need somebody through whom God can speak to us. Not all of us are prophetic, you know. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that she came into my life. Mm -hmm. This is the woman you are going to receive ministry from. Mm -hmm. If you have a chance, take her telephone number. Mm -hmm. Rosemary is a person that when you tell her your problem, even when you have forgotten it, she will be calling you, asking you about it, praying with you through, mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. prays. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this because mm -hmm. she's here. I have met her, and she has made me richer. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that she, she trusted me, mm -hmm. because she's very perfect in everything mm -hmm. to organize this mm -hmm. evening. Mm -hmm. We organize this evening just to create this atmosphere Amen. to receive healing from Amen. God. Amen. 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 So before Rosemary comes, I will call Sister Amrit to sing one song, and after that, Sister Rosemary comes and ministers, and then we will hear another song. Amen. Sister Amrit, are you ready?